have starring roles, Seattle linebacker Lofa Tatupu and Pittsburgh safety Troy Palomalu. It is known as the Siva Afi, a ritual Samoan fire dance that demands agility, precision, and courage. Lofa Tatupu, welcome to the NFL, baby! It's a celebration of the cornerstones of Samoan culture. Faith, family, and respect. And though this environment is vastly different than this one. A great play, Troy Polamalu. Troy Polamalu, the Steelers' all-pro safety, sees some similarities. Football is very closely related to uh, the Samoan culture. They're very passionate about family, which is very close to the team. Every Samoan player that steps onto the field, we have a pride about us that we carry because of the Samoan mentality and where we've come from. Where they've come from is a chain of Polynesian islands in the heart of the Pacific Ocean, midway between Hawaii and Australia. And while Samoa may be minute, its impact on the NFL is not. Among several Samoan NFL alumni is former Patriots All-Pro Mosi Tatupu, whose son Lofa Seahawks will face Palomalu Steelers in Super Bowl 40. Polynesians are a tight-knit group, and uh, just, you know, you know, very proud one at that. Samoans in general just hardworking and uh you know with the with the the tenacious attitude and just uh, to get after it lofa lived a comfortable suburban life in new england with his mom sister and local hero dad but three thousand miles away in santa Ana, california troy Palalu grew up in a far more precarious environment i didn't grow up in a bad neighborhood but i grew up around a lot of bad things breaking in, in schools starting fights things that any fourth grader should not be doing. I think was the direction that my mom saw that I was going in, and they thought for it to be wise for me to move to Oregon and be raised by my uncle. Ten Mile, Oregon was where Troy's uncle Salu, the family disciplinarian, was raising his family. Another of Troy's uncles, former USC fullback Kennedy Pola, lent a hand. It wasn't by choice. It was, it was a necessity. Might have saved his life. Uh, the Samoan culture has always been about family. You don't turn their back on them. Can you tell us where you are, Troy? Oregon. In a tiny rural town of 150, Troy thrived. Hey, hey, Troy, open this one next. Yeah, Troy. Troy. With his infectious personality, he had no trouble fitting in. And scholastically, he became an A student. In his new surroundings, Troy excelled in each of the several sports he tried. And it was on the football field where he learned a lesson that he carries with him to this day. In the first touchdown I scored, I, I don't know if I just tossed the ball on the ground or spiked it or I don't remember what I did. But I do remember my uncle coming on the field and telling me, if you do that again, you'll never step foot on the field. Troy grew from a rambunctious nine-year-old with little regard for his Samoan roots into a teenager keenly aware of his cultural heritage. A young man dedicated to the central Samoan tenets of faith, pride, and respect. He accepted a full scholarship to USC, where he blossomed into one of the most feared defensive backs in the nation. In his sophomore year, Troy was joined by his uncle Kennedy, who had moved up the coaching ranks to become a Southern Cal assistant. Not hug him, tell him I love him. It, it, it didn't bother me to do that in public. You know, if he needs something, he needs anything, he knows I'm right there for him. After a stellar career at USC, Troy was the Steelers' first pick in the 2003 draft. Kennedy, meanwhile, was grooming a redshirt sophomore to fill the role of defensive leader, an unheralded transfer from the University of Maine named Lofa Tatupu. His dad called me and talked about his son being a, a good football player. He wasn't very big, you know, wasn't very fast, but seemed to make all the plays. Coach Carroll uh, invited me up for a trip and I uh, went over to saw the campus, you know, fell in love with the place, you know, and uh, offered me a scholarship on the spot. The gamble on the relatively unknown Tatupu paid off as Lofa helped lead the Trojans to back-to-back -back national titles. There's a silent fire that Troy and Lofa have. There's a fire of, of competing and, and, and just going for it. That Samoan fire, fueled by faith, family, and respect, has now brought all three men to the NFL. In 2004, Kennedy Pola became the first Samoan coach in league history. Yeah. Let's go, we ain't done, we just getting started. And last spring, the Seahawks selected Tatupu, who has quickly become the pillar of their defense. And in Pittsburgh, Troy 
Matt Palomalu has established himself as one of the best all-around defenders in all of football. They just love playing football. They love the game. They love everything about it. They love the smell. They love working out. They love being around their teammates. This is not make millions of dollars. This is representing your family, representing you, yeah. and go out there and have fun with it. And the music.